done with my tank top. This is actually a tank top that I've used while bleaching my hair. Uh, you can tell that there's a bleach on it. Um, so, I'm going to open up these containers of hair dye and start the process of dyeing my hair. And I haven't, I, I'm trying to stick to neutral hair color uh, because I am doing a lot of job interviews and I need to look kind of professional so that's why I want like this kind of like fiery orange color because it's a little unnatural look but it's still it's not like bright purple, which I've had before. Um, it's still relatively natural looking. So it was like a good compromise between um, like uh, a natural color and a natural color. And I wanted to do, I had, when I started my hair dyeing process, I bought quite a few um, different like hair colors. Um, and I have like, one singular box or container of this hair colors and I was thinking of just doing like a really crazy like multicolored hair style but maybe um, after my after I find a new job um, I can do that because I don't want to be judged just I mean, they shouldn't judge you based on their hair anyway, like, I don't think they would want to work for a company that does, but I don't want to be put into a position because it's something that I chose to do, um, and express myself in a certain way, and, um, and, yeah, so I'm just playing it safe by going, um, like, natural until I land a job, and then, um, see what their feelings are on colored hair, and do it, because I know, like, some really conservative companies um they want like a natural like look because it's really professional looking and what an extreme example of that is disney world like they have like a very specific kind of uh procedure for how you're, you're supposed to look so for a company like Walt disney that makes sense because of what they produce like, for example um they're very uh obviously like image based and whatever so um but yeah so i'm gonna get started on this and hopefully it'll turn out good i'm kind of excited because i've never done this color red i've done like a deeper red but i've never done like a bright fiery orangey type of red and my hair is pretty blonde right now so um i think it should look pretty good so i'm gonna comb my hair i'll completely section it off etc and Start dying. And hopefully my my hair is uh, clean enough to um, I was debating about going for like another uh, like dye a uh, bleach job because my under hair like my under part um can definitely use like another um bleaching job like it's really dark and it looks like i've missed it uh, not necessarily on purpose but it looks like i missed it on purpose and then um my under root like here it, the last time i did bleach my hair um it didn't really take for some reason and it could be because the developer was at the end of the bottle and I just, yeah, just didn't, because I already bleach it. I don't like to do multiple bleachings in a row because it's good to let your hair kind of go back to its natural um, strength, like heal a little bit before you do, before you do that. So, but then I was like, if I'm dyeing my hair darker, like a darker color than a blonde, or something like it wouldn't make sense to bleach it so 
um, the next time I'm going to color my hair, I'll make sure to bleach those areas. So I just thought I'd mention that in case you see that in the video, like, oh, why is her, the under part of her hair is so dark. It's not because I intentionally missed it or anything. It's just, uh, the way I happen to bleach my hair. And I actually don't mind the, um, the darker part under my hair because it kind of, and I'm not talking about this, but like if I flip my hair to the other side, it's much darker and it actually gives the hair a bit more dimension. So I actually don't mind it in like my normal part. It doesn't show up like as much. Um, so yeah, it's just mostly left for dimension. And my hair is already feeling a lot better just by, um, just by kind of combing it out and combing out all the tangliness. Um, being at home all the time now, it's been harder for me to keep up with my grooming routine because of having no routine so like it's easy to say oh I'll just take a shower tomorrow or I'll just do my workout tomorrow or uh whatever like I'll just do it the next day and then there's no need to do it but I have been reminded constantly that doing these routines is for myself and if I do them for myself then there is a need to do it on that day if that makes sense so um even if like I'm not doing much that day sometimes it's just good to take a day for yourself and to take a shower, do your beauty routine, like all of that stuff. And it's like your me time a little bit. And for me, it's a way for, for me to relax and de-stress if I have like a beauty routine or something. So yeah, so my hair is looking a lot better already. Um, yeah, let's begin this transformation. Shall we? We shall, I guess. Oh, I already got the box dye. So I'm just gonna, uh, I guess, like maybe not turn around as much. I mean, you'll be able to see me dye the back of my hair, but it might be harder for me to, um, like show you at the at the beginning so so let's read the instructions and see if it's anything different than what I'm used to doing don't think it is it's just putting a container of stuff in another container of stuff <laughs> a container in a container <laughs> um, so Directions say put on gloves. Um, so it's basically saying I don't see any gloves. Um, so that's interesting. So basically, it's saying here's to the developer bottle. And then you basically pour this in here um, and then shake for at least 30, 30 seconds. And then it comes with the um, after hair color conditioner, um, which looks like that. So I basically mistakenly bought um, a, a conditioner essentially for your hair which I thought it was a hair color but it was actually a conditioner for this hair color um type anyway so I was like hey I was planning to do this anyway I was going to return it but I'm going to keep it just to make it last longer so whatever so I have plenty conditioner for this hair type um yeah so let's go do this thing. I'm surprised this didn't come with 
uh, it didn't come with um, gloves or anything because a lot of them do and but I don't honestly I don't I know it's bad but I never had a reaction to to hair dye before I bought this really nasty alcohol based I knew it was alcohol based because it had a rancid smell to the hair dye and it faded out weird like it turned my blonde hair like a, almost silver and it was it was it was very odd um I I ended up returning the extra bottles that I had because I won and the smell of it almost made me pass out because of it being alcohol based and it was just not good to like have that kind of smell hanging around my apartment you know so I returned it um but like it faded my my blonde hair faded to like a silver it was very strange um the color was nice it was very similar to my natural color which was what I was looking for and yeah so it was very similar to my natural hair color and it lasted quite a while before it started to look like my hair needed work um so whatever but that's water under the bridge so what I like to do um uh, to basically start over with my uh, bleaching process is I like to dye my hair to um, as close as my natural hair color and then uh, like a more permanent color and then I um, just let it grow out and then eventually I cut off the dyed part so that m my natural hair color is just left the way it is. Um, that's kind of how I start over. Um, I don't shave my head off or anything like I just keep it that way until like it grows long enough because I used to have like really short hair so for me to cut it like that short and cut off all the blonde like it was pretty easy to do um now it might be a little bit more difficult to do because my hair is a bit longer but yeah so that's what I recommend like just dye your hair back to the, the closest natural color to your to your hair that it is and just go from there um so I think this is pretty good. This is what the bottle looks like now. It used to be white, now it's an orange. Um, so let's get dying. So it might be kind of overkill to do to pour it into this container as well, but um, I'm just trying to be mindful of messes and everything like that. So this is what my hair looks like, um, all dyed and everything. It didn't do a bad job of washing off my hands, although you can definitely tell that it's stained. It kind of looks like a Ada bag of Cheetos or something. Um, this color is interesting because on the box it looks like it's more of like, um, I don't know if it's focusing focus, focus. I don't know if it's focusing, but it looks like a orange red, kind of like my towel here. Um, 
and I was hoping for it to be a, a slightly darker color um, but this is like bright fiery um, orange I'm gonna say red 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 is not the color I'm looking for um, so it's not a red but it's a bright fiery orange um, and it does say intense fire ruby color on here so it'll be really interesting because to me ruby is more like a darker color so it'll be really interesting to see after 30 minutes of waiting if this color after it sets in um it will like you know like be darker um so that's just kind of i guess an update of my hair transformation and this is what it looks like up close and it wasn't actually that messy and what I liked about this this particular brand I guess um, is that you can see the color difference in the hair right away. It drives me um, batshit crazy and when I dye my hair and I don't see the color reacting to the hair right away. Um, it makes me really nervous and it's hard for me to see what the final um, color looks like and oftentimes that's more the case in darker hair colors because it's very natural to my um, my actual hair color so like that makes total sense but uh, a lot of the times like because like your wet your hair gets darker naturally when it's wet like it's harder to see the, the end result but here you can definitely see the, the color so I'm I'm intrigued to see what this looks like because this to me didn't like this product didn't look like it was unnatural like yes it's like a bright orange but it, they made it look so natural like maybe that was a purpose um, for the marketing or in packaging and they made it look so natural like that um, so I am curious um, I'm hoping that the, the final outcome will be similar to that. It's a similar copper color rather than a bright um, Halloween orange. Kind of like this is a bowl I have in my bathroom and I'm hoping it doesn't look like this orange. But anyway, so this is my update. I will check in after my shower and then once it's fully dried, um, I only blow dry my hair on hair dyeing days because I get to see the result pretty much right away. So I'm going to um, take a poo <laughs> and then probably uh, maybe cook some dinner. I think that'll be something good to do that I don't need my glasses for. Um, for 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 now because I can't usually I can't wear my glasses when I dye my hair, uh, so the dye doesn't get on the on the frames. Um, so I think I'm gonna make dinner and kind of go from there, and um, and that'll be a good thing to do while my hair is setting. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, we're gonna have dinner, shower, do my usual slightly usual hair routine whatever so this is what my hair looks like um without or after being set for 30 minutes Let's see if i can i don't think i can i can share show you the back of it that easily but let's see let's see if i can So that's what the back looks like. Um, not too bad actually. There we go. So that's what the back looks like. Um, not too bad. For, for um, a blonde dye job, it's, it definitely needs work. Um, you can tell by the fact that it's pretty dark back there. But for a regular dye job, like it shouldn't matter that much. Uh, ignore my messy cabinet there. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cover my head with it. But yeah, so from the back, 
and from the front this is what it looks like before I take a shower so I'm going to do my yoga that I do for self-care and then I will <sighs> go take a shower and continue my self-care routine I'm probably gonna blow out my hair this time just to see the results for the video I will typically wait um, for kind of like to, uh, to hair uh, what's it called the um, no air dry there we go <laughs> for some reason I couldn't think of that word air dry my hair uh, but for the sake of this video I'm going to blow up my hair so you can see the final results. Jeez, I can't speak today. <laughs> um, I have acorn soup um, warming up on the stove so um, hopefully it will be okay after I um, take a shower and do my yoga and everything like that. So yep. Um, I'm going to try to get good angle. So there we go. Well, okay. So I'm, as you can see, I just stepped out of the shower. Um, this is definitely not my actual hair. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to do my massage as I usually would and then put my face mask on and <sighs> yeah uh, and then blow dry my hair out so uh, that shower felt really good so that's kind of where I'm at so I'm going to put on my face mask so that is drying when I blow my hair out. I did my massage and everything else. So I'm all set to do my facial. And let's check to see what my hands look like. I don't know if I'll pick up on camera from before and after. But my hands look like this now. They are not less like um, I ate a bag of Cheetos and more clean. <laughs> um, but I still have um, dyed fingernails, so. That's an update for you on that. And I recently got myself a, a jade roller and I've been obsessed with a jade roller and I've been obsessed just doing this like in the mornings it feels so refreshing the cold jade like feels so refreshing on my face so I've just been kind of doing this supposedly it tightens our skin I haven't really noticed a big difference but I have noticed less puffiness so perhaps it's working um but yeah so, and I don't know if like I personally need this or, or not, but any less puffiness, I guess, is good. It makes my face feel less bloated feeling and looking. So, yeah. So, if you haven't picked one up uh, already, it looks like this, and I got mine at uh, five below. So they're really cheap right now. Um, and they look nice on the vanity too. So it's a nice um, decor item. So in the shower, I prepped my face. 
by using a body scrub with eucalyptus in it so it's um, really smooth uh, right now. This um, mud mask which I featured in my stress relief video. I don't know if it's gonna focus. My stress relief video. This is something that I've been using um, for almost a year now and I've been really loving it. Um, it might be a little overkill for some people um, to put it on the face, especially after the um, uh, scrub, body scrub. But for me, I have some tough spots, especially like on my forehead and like my cheekbone area here where um, it needs a little bit of extra something. So this mask kind of really helps that. Um, it really helps kind of put that um, into practice, so to speak. And I first discovered these uh, when I was in Iceland at the Blue Lagoon. I was like, hey, mud masks are really fun and really effective. And um, the one in Blue Lagoon was really expensive, even for like a travel-sized amount. It lasted me quite a bit, like it was about four months. But this has lasted me almost a year and I'm pretty much like almost done. So obviously the price kind of speaks for itself in that. Um, obviously the ingredients are a bit different. This is a mud mask where the other is silica. But it kind of functions the same way. Um, so I'm going to turn around and face the mirror and put the rest of this on and then I'm going to blow out my hair and we can see the final result. I'm gonna unravel my hair so my hair looks like this um, before blowing it out it's already like kind of dry but to really see the full effect of it I'm gonna blow it out This is what the hair looks like. Um, so obviously it's going to be easier to see the full reveal once my face mask is off. But um, this is the color and I actually don't mind it. It's definitely darker than what I was anticipating which is good. Um, and as it dries out even more it's going to look darker and whatever. Um, but. <laughs> So never blow your hair dry when you have a facial mask on. This might seem kind of obvious, but your dry hair is gonna get caught in your in your facial mask. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was kind of a fail on my part, but yeah, I I like it, um, and I'll do a final final reveal once my facial mask is off and then my glasses on. In about a few minutes. 